I am uh, pleased to confirm on behalf of our institution that we will in two days time from today be hosting the President of the Republic of South Africa, Mr. Jacob Zuma, when he will be delivering his last State of the Nation address to a joint sitting of the two houses of this Parliament. Our plans in this regard started late last year, and we are at a point now where we can say with confidence that all is on track with record to our preparations. We are looking forward to a memorable day for all of our guests and for the multitudes of our people who will be watching on TV and listening on radio calls. This year, State of the Nation Address is a key event on our national calendar, will again be delivered at 19 hours. Delivery of the address is in the evening, has enabled many more people to follow proceedings, form an opinion about government's plan, and engage with this. The address by the President provides Parliament with the opportunity to enhance its oversight responsibility to identify key aspects of this oversight program for the coming year and to plan how to facilitate public involvement in this. Parliament also provides a public forum for consideration of the President's message. This happens in a debate in Parliament on the address, and this will happen on the 18th and the 19th of February. On the 20th of February, the President will reply to the debate. Guests on Thursday will include civilian participants in a ceremony, a junior and civil guard of honor, and nine eminent persons selected by provincial legislatures in recognition of the contribution to our democracy. Also in Parliament, will be 18 young people born in 1994 and registered as voters for our forthcoming election. Nine of them were born on the 27th April 1994, the day of our first non-racial democratic elections. All guests in the gallery of the National Assembly will be able to tune in to hear the address interpreted in official languages of their choice. This is one of the aspects of the audio and information technology upgrade recently carried out in the chamber. 